what's going on what is going on so today i got a review and i have the so horny rda and this is a clone just to let y'all know i do have some authentic stuff but i also have more clone stuff because it's affordable i paid nine dollars for this and i'm going to show you how it looks for nine bucks this looks good we're going to see how it works though all right so so far so good it says made in my land my my main may lead or my land or something like that obviously it's over in china over there somewhere it was made it's really nice the letters are kind of funky looking the way they wrote them on there so i think that's pretty cool a little different um they look like they're laser or almost like it's painted on um it looks like it's gonna wear off eventually i'm not sure laser laser etched so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna next up we're gonna do a build on this I don't have any goils prepped up for this, so we're just going to take some Clapton wire that I have here, alright, and we're going to build some shit, alright, we're going to build some crazy stuff, now nah, we're going to build, um, you can build up to six coils, right, on this, so, look at that, oh, shit, look at that, big, so yeah, we're going to do the six coils, alright guys, and then I'm going to show you how to properly wick a six coil RDA so all the cotton can fit in here and still have juice well room for juice. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to go down here, down bottom. We're going to go ahead. We're going to build on this. We're going to check it out, test it out. I got this. This is going to go on my uh, RX 200S because this is the only mod I have that's uh, big enough to actually run something like this. So we're going to go ahead and build on it. All right, guys, let's get down here and uh, do a build. I know you guys like rather see that part than see me because, you know, it's just me. So, yeah, we're going to go down. We're going to do a build and uh, let's check it out. And I'll show you the rest of the RTA uh, once we're down here building on it. All right, let's get down. So here we go. We have the So Horny RDA and it's one of the weirdest names I ever heard for RDA. So we're going to do a simple build on this. I'll have a little respect. I'll smoke my blunt off cam while, um, while I'm doing the build. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab some nice Clapton wire I have here. All right. We're going to do six coils. We're going to do about five wraps or four wraps a piece, something like that. Um, and then we're going to put it on, we're going to fire it, and we're going to be happy, right guys, right, alright, so let me find the screwdriver that I'm going to be using for this, alright, so let's just go ahead, we're going to do the build real quick, I'll install them and we'll be right back, alright guys, so I started building, this is my first build I got on here, alright, you can see I got two coils on there, five wraps. Now I'm going to put one in the center here, in the center holes. And then we're going to move on to the top. So I'm going to watch, you guys can watch while I do this part. <clears throat> so I'm going to set this up for a center build. Okay, so basically what I mean is my coil is going to be going in like this. In the center. Um on top so no actually I'm doing this on the I'm doing these first so what I'm doing is I'm adjusting my uh, leads making sure they're even because I'm not trimming them um, basically they're gonna stay the way they are I'm not gonna trim them they're gonna go right in and stay uh, I will trim them though if I have to after it's all together and it it's not working the way it's supposed to that way then I will trim it so that's how I'm doing this show you how I do these real quick all right this one is longer than the other one this one might end up having to get trimmed just a little bit because of the length of the leads 
are a little bit bigger than I thought. So let's go ahead and pop that one in. Just like that. And not, I don't even mess with them yet. What I do is make sure the leads are in far enough for me to screw it down so they don't come out. So they're all set. And now what I do is I just leave it the way it is. I make sure the wire stays where it's at. And I slowly tighten it. Making sure that the screw, it's not making the coils move out of place. Making them slide out of the hole or in more. Sorry, I'm not even centered here. I need to put this mat back. This helps me keep my, my cam centered where it needs to be or keep me centered for my cam is what I mean there we go see that guys simple as that now I got my wires now what I'll do is I'll grab my screwdriver Oop, straighten that out you want to be careful you don't want to pinch break the wire or anything like that so that's about where it's gonna be or where it's gonna sit Ugh, keep moving everything all right, that's about where it's going to sit. So right now, I'm going to do the next one. Might want to pull it out. This one's going to want to push over like that. Push over like this. Now it's pretty much centered. Now what you do is when you do that with your screwdriver, you just go ahead and grab. All right, 0.26. My ohms are still good. We're going to go ahead and bump that up. Obviously, we're going to need more wattage than this in a little bit, but. Alright. You know, you'll, you'll be able to adjust it more after and stuff like that. So don't worry. Everything is going to work out just fine. Um, now, see, what I'm doing here is my wire is way over too much. So what I want to do is unturn it, the wire, everything, so the wire even undoes itself and then does itself on the other side. This one, too, is crooked. I thought I had this straight. There we go. I must have hit it or something. All right, so you want to make sure it's in the right spot. That'll help move it over, heating it up. You'll be able to move your wires and set them in the way they need to be. All right, come over on this side. Same thing on this side. You want to heat up that wire. Start your pinching. Once it heats up, it'll kind of mold itself to where it needs to be. All right, guys. You see how I'm doing this? Nice and easy. Bring it down a little bit if you need to. There we go. Now I'm going to do this top one here. And the top one, what I like is the way it is. It, it kind of, it's kind of like made for that, the way it looks. So we're gonna go ahead and put a bend, put a, a bend. So like this, like this. Stretch this lead out a little bit. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm off cam, but I couldn't see um, the leads weren't sitting in the right places. So what I'm gonna do is, that's about where I want it. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna tighten this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and push that in. So it holds in place, it's hot. I can feel it burning my finger slowly. Whew. Take a break from that. There we go. I don't like that positive post. It's kind of weak. It's a weak post. It's 
Sorry guys. Just threw it off cam. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm still trying to get used to this top view. Make sure my other ones are snug tight still. There we go. All right, now we're gonna adjust this one. Make sure she's sitting right, just like that. 0.12 amps ohms sorry I said amps we're gonna put up the watts to 198 we'll go up to 100 yet well one 104 we'll try for right now all right because we're gonna post this though and try to get everything to fire nice this coil the reason why I made this top one bigger with a ex two extra wraps some people might know why I did it. Um, the reason why is because this one's closest to my mouth. So what I did was I, I put an extra wraps on it so it, it doesn't get as hot as the bottom ones, which will allow this to heat up slowly, giving me that flavor I want, and the other ones will give me the vapor. All right, you guys understand now why I did it the way I did it? So there we go. She's looking good. All right, let's pulse them all now, and they should all be firing nice. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. And the top one doesn't look like it's doing anything, but it's actually getting hot. It's getting a little red. It's pink. I see it. It's not red hot, but it's, it's good enough for me. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to wick these, and I'm going to show you how I do this. All right, so we're going to get some wick. I already have some out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the two of the um, um, Scottish Rose, I believe is what it's called, Scottish. I know I always say the wrong thing, Irish, Scottish, I, I just call it the egg roll. Or I'm going to make a, a freaking wrap with some e-juice. And coil. I'll take that on the side with a Pepsi. Alright, so we're gonna stretch this cotton out. This is how I do this. Alright, I use the outside layers instead of wasting the cotton. I use these for the Scottish row. And they work great for the Scottish row. Um, so yeah, I use the outside layers that I peel off for this row. It actually works really well and it wicks really nice so we're gonna go ahead and just roll this up and that's gonna be really thick so there's plenty of cotton here for all of this there we go that should be just about right yep looks good to me guys all right so let's go ahead and start wicking this Alright, so we're going to do one there. You're not going to need as much on this top one. So be careful you don't add too much guys because you're not it's not about wicking it with more cotton it's about properly wicking it and that's it you know what I mean I hope you guys can understand that because a lot of people put too much cotton and they still get dry hits due to the cotton being overstuffed so what you want to do is and I'll show you and it works really good Cotton is a really nice wicking material if you have good cotton. And this cotton works good with what I'm doing. 
it's a nice method. This got I like the Scottish roll. Sorry, I know I'm off cam just for a second. It's easier for me to do the roll off cam than on cam. Alright, so this is my other one. Alright, we're just gonna put a little twist in the end here. Sorry. There we go. A little easier to get the cotton through. Ah, get it in your mouth while you're at it. There we go. Grab your scissors. Make a nice cut. This one's going to be a little smaller. There we go, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and do the top one. The top one's going to be very easy, but I do something a little different, and I'll show you. All right. And I'm going to do a tight row, Scottish row. Not too tight, but I'm going to show you what I do. Actually, I need a different piece. This is not good enough, so I'm going to use some of this fluffy stuff I got here for this piece because this is what I do and I'm going to show you guys what I do alright so you got your coils like this alright and you want to wick this so you don't really want to get this on top of the other coils because this one's going sideways so what you do is and I'll show you just what I'm talking about you're going to fluff it up. You're going to cut it right about there. Right about there. Make a nice little bow. You're going to go right down the middle. There we go. Just like that. This is just what I do. You don't have to do this at all. Trust me on this one. This one you don't have to do at all. But it helps with the wicking of the center coil. Alright guys. So now what you do is. Guess what. We're going to juice it. We're going to juice it. So we're going to add some juice to this cotton. By the way this is my strawberry short uh, cheesecake. Uh, juice of my own. Um, I have. 30 mil bottles for $10, um, $12 with shipping and handling, um, I prefer that people buy a little extra and then I'll cover the, if you get over $20 worth, I'll cover the, the more you buy too, the more juice you can get, um, so yeah. I'm going to start posting some of the flavors I have soon. Uh, I got to get my labels done, which are in the process being done soon. All right, so this is all nicely juiced up the way I like it. Now we're going to just tuck the coil, the cotton, with my cotton, my cotton picker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop that cotton down there. Take this one, drop it down there. We're going to take this one. And we're not going to do any dropping. This is how we do it, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, no dropping. You don't want to drop. You don't want it to uh, really get in there. Because then it's going to get... Ooh, shoot. It's going to get all clogged up. So basically, you're going to rush your cotton on top of each other. Some people know about this and do it this way and it works awesome. Some people don't do it this way and they still have issues and it's too much cotton. And it's all good. Everyone has their own way of doing it. But if you do it this way, you'll just save on a little cotton because you're not going all the way down with every coil uh, in cotton. So just like that. See that guys? Just like that. As long as one of these are touching the bottom, all that juice will soak up into each other. Very nice. 
So there you go. It's like a hairdo, you know what I mean? Kind of like a hairdo for... Spilled a little pot oil, a little oil, a little juice on the sides. Make sure it's clean. And there you go, guys. And let's see how she's vaping. Let's go up to 120. Right there. And let's see how she's vaping. Vapor. A lot of juice. It's like bubbling in there. I gotta vape some of it out. Ah, a little too much juice. A little too much juice. Let's get some out. I just suck it right back out. I don't care. It's mine. Here we go. Let's try it again. There it goes. Vapor. Woo, boy, that's hot. All right, so let's go back up and let's uh, check it out and see how it vapes. All right. All right, what's up? I'm back up top. FaceTime. Let's check it out. So this is it. We all saw. I put it together. We got five coils on here for now. And she's vaping. Oh, popping like a mother. A lot of vapor. All right, let's pop this top cap on. Let's make sure you're... Air, the air flow is correct. How does this work? All right, let's see. Air flow needs to go like. I'm getting confused. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Dual air flow. I got it on the sides. Wide open like a mother. I can tell you right now, this bitch is going to get hot. Um, they could have done a little better on the threading. It's a little cheesy. But for $9, it wasn't bad. So let's salute. Let's check it out, guys. Wow, that strawberry cheesecake is tasting good. I just made it yesterday, so I gotta let it steep a little bit more, but obviously, but um, tastes good the way it is. <gasps> wow, a lot of vapor, a lot of vapor. I got juice falling everywhere because I over spilled, over juiced. Gotta find my rag, but that's it, guys. And it comes with. Uh, some extras you got screws you got some rubber washers you got your own 510 drip, uh, drip tip adapter that comes with it as well you got an allen key that comes with it so it does come with it, its own tool but i was using mine and then you got for your airflow you got three rings here that are separate air adjusters um so you could adjust each airflow individually so you don't have to build all six coils if you want you could just build two coils one coil it gives you that option so it's pretty cool so you could just shut all the airflow off and just leave one hole open and that's it for one coil or you could put six coils on there and use all six holes it gives you options and i like that i like being able to have different multiple options with one 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 uh one rda so that is the um so horny rda uh this one is a clone like i said and where i got this from is building nope that's not it that's not the right information i got this from technology and uh generation information technology industry park Shungay Road to Bayan. So what I'm gonna do is Gandong Shenzhen Gandong is uh, Shenzhen Gandong. Gandong is the company I think the name of it, and it's from China. It was only nine dollars, and it took three weeks to deliver. No, sorry, my bad. It took only two weeks to deliver. I got it yesterday. So it took two weeks and one day, so 17, no, uh, for 15 days, 16 days, 
so I didn't even have to wait a whole month to get it, which is pretty cool. Alright, so, let's check out uh, what we got in stores, alright, on Instagram, or yesterday on one of my videos, I said I had an RDA of a, uh, for a review I'm going to do, and it's one I haven't found on YouTube, so it's kind of going to be like something that's going to be kind of like, wow, this has been out, but no one's ever reviewed it. And I don't know if they made it and just didn't let any send it out for people to review. I don't know what the deal with this is. I've seen it being sold in other places, um, but I don't know nothing about it. So I went and I looked it up on YouTube and I can't find anything about it. So I'm going to have a review on this RDA um, coming up probably tomorrow or the day after. And this is it. All right, so yeah, if you didn't see it too bad, man, because I'm going to wait until the reviews so you guys can see it. All right, so, all right, peace out, guys. God bless and vape on, man, vape on. Stay away from the stinkies.